what other animals are you going to bring back? Well, we have announced, obviously, the, the mammoth and the thylacine, that's the Tasmanian tiger, and the dodo, which is my favorite. I see my dodo. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> we have DNA from, from lots of different animals, so, you know, you never know. So you've announced the woolly mammoth. That's right. And where will that be? Where are we going to put mammoths? Yeah. Are you going to reintroduce them area, into areas? Eventually, that is the goal, to have animals that live in wild habitats. But this will be a but very not long process. Dire wolves. No, we won't be reintroducing dire wolves. Okay, so not predators, but you would consider... Well, not dire wolves. Oh, so you the, so you weren't joking about the cheetah? <laughs> we, we don't currently have any plans to, to bring cheetahs or, or saber-toothed cats back to life. But you might. Oh. I don't like how you said that. <laughs> but if you did that, like that would be where it would get sketchy. If you reintroduce an animal that can run 60 miles an hour to the plains, those poor antelopes who've been like living it up, because they evolved, you, you know that, pronghorn antelopes, the reason why they're so fast, they evolved to get away from these cheetahs that don't exist anymore. Yeah. I mean, for every species, there will be different uh, work that has to be done to figure out whether and where is a good idea to reintroduce them. And for each of the species that we're working with, we have councils that we've put together in the part of the world where we would bring them back together to, to have conversations about where they should go, whether they should go, how many there should be, and, and who is willing to be the long-term stewards for these animals.